But the recap that we are here to give you is um, one of the craziest games, <laughs> probably the best games that I've seen all year. Um, if you thought Miami and Virginia Tech was something <laughs> uh, the previous night, take a look at Georgia and Alabama, man. Uh, Alabama wins by a nail biter 41 to 34 man uh after georgia uh capped the comeback um they were down big man um going into the fourth quarter and um they actually took the lead with two minutes left next thing you know Jalen miro with the with the freshman sensation with with a with a with a quick strike like that to take the lead it looked like Georgia was going to come back and take the lead back. And they sealed the game and wins it with an interception with like 42 seconds left, man. Yeah. I, all I can, all, I'm like, wow. That's why you watch the game right there. I mean, 28 nothing. Georgia's up 28 nothing in this. I mean, Georgia. Alabama's up 28 nothing in this game, 30 to 7 at halftime. 30 to 7. But I can tell you, Keo, I know we haven't really used it, haven't really gotten to the breakdown and everything. I put it on a group chat. For whatever reason, I just did not think that game was over. You know, normally you see a game, oh, you like, oh, this game's completely over. I just oh. felt like Milro in the first half played his greatest game ever. And Beck played horrible. And I'm like, if Beck could just turn it around a little bit and Milro could kind of calm down a little, cool off a little bit, this game could change real quick. And did it ever. Oh, my God. This is one of them ones, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I Yeah, I do agree with when the game was 30 to 7. And then the moment Alabama scored the touchdown and they made it 30 to 15, I was like, Alabama's coming back. Um, George, and, I know what you meant. I mean, George. I mean, George, I mean, George is coming back. Um, and then uh, I think the huge crucial moment in the game that kind of helped Georgia back was that um, that muff punt or the they, kickoff, the kickoff, yeah, yep, yeah, the yep. kick, the kickoff that that kind of pinned them back in their own territory. They had to change the playbook a little bit. Georgia got the ball back and boom, just like that, man. And uh, it was just a story of two halves between the quarterbacks. Like Beck played bad, Milro played good. Uh, you know, outside of that first, outside of that touchdown pass, Milro played bad and Beck I, played good. I'm not going to say Milro played bad. I felt like Alabama became conservative. I felt like they just was doing because if you look at his numbers, he was 27 for 33, which I think he only had one incompletion at halftime. So five more balls incomplete in the second half. He did not know he had two because he had the interception, the, the interception in the first half, too. So yeah, he had two in the first half, four in the second. That's not terrible. But I get what you're saying. His rushing ability was crazy in the first half. He went over a hundred. And then the second half, it was kind of shut down completely by Georgia in their defense. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, Georgia's G Georgia's defense. I don't know what they did, man, but they kind of they they did seem kind of gassed though. And like, even Herb Street said they they said all we need all Alabama needs is the their the ones of their defensive players to step up. And the guy that stepped up was the guy that was getting picked on. Xavier Brown, yep. Yeah, the entire second half. Um, so that that was a crazy game, man. Uh, probably the best game of the year. We, there was a lot of good games of the year, but this one was the one. It was I just. Thought, the I wished Kobe Young would have made a better effort as far as on that interception. I felt like he just kind of like. Didn't even try to like swat it down from um Xavier and Brown. It just I went to my I wanted to say game going to overtime because I just thought that would have made it even more crazy going to overtime 
41 41. Carson Beck got hot all of a sudden. And I mean, he was dropping dimes. But you know, I'm not the biggest Carson Beck guy. I think ultimately, and, I, and, I, and I'm a, this is the biggest thing. I know people are going to say X U Wallet because we're, we're just starting to uncensor, baby. But I'm here to tell y'all, I really believe that's why George is the best team in the country. I know they lost. I know that people are going to there's nobody that's going to make me believe if any other team was in this scenario in Tuscaloosa, down 28 nothing or 30 to 7 at halftime, they would have came back and took the lead in this game. No other team in the country does yeah. that, I think. Um, Georgia, if they play on a neutral site and they don't get off to a slow start like this, I think Georgia beats Alabama. I know it's not popular. Shout out to Alabama. They won tonight. We're going to give them their credit, their flowers. I felt like DeBoer, was, and his, Caleb DeBoer and his staff, to start the game, had an incredible game plan. Incredible game plan. And I think it shell-shocked Georgia at the beginning. But once Georgia figured it out, it was like a totally flip-flop. <laughs> so I just think on a neutral side or in Athens for sure, I just think Georgia would be so much better. Um, I feel like Georgia didn't play a great game tonight. I felt like Alabama did. And Alabama it, at home played a great game in the first half, played a, a good game in the second half, and barely squeaked by Georgia. Yeah. Carson Beck had four turnovers, Gil. Four. And they barely won. <laughs> one thing, one thing that I, what people can't say is uh, that they can't say is Carson Beck's the reason why Georgia came back. Man, I'm sorry, uh, he's the reason. You gotta give Georgia's defensive credit. They, too. they did. Well, the 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 def yeah, the defense did make plays, but but Carson Beck was just wasn't making these screen off dump off passes he was taking shots down the field he like was. he, he yeah was. he was taking shots and like he 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 was good man he was really good this is probably the best game i've seen from carson beck but milro also man uh this was a heisman mo moment for Jalen milro man and he he might have put himself on the top of the list yeah i mean milro over 100 yards um rushing Almost 400 yards pass, and he's right around 500. I mean that 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 that's incredible, bro. Four and touchdowns. he has moment, man. Nobody, uh -huh. n he has that moment. Nobody, that that touchdown pass. Right. That, that was like right. I, I, I did that. Allo, and I'm not just saying he may be the favorite in the Heisman right now. I think Alabama. It's going to be ranked the number one team when the polls come out. And, and can you really argue? I mean, really think about it. You really can't argue. That was a more impressive win than Texas going to Michigan. We saw Michigan today struggle with Minnesota. I mean, I know Texas beat Alabama last year in Tuscaloosa, but this is not the same Jalen Milro. They didn't see this Jalen Milro. They saw a kid that was not as confident last year throwing the football, was one-dimensional, um, they, they tough, but I will say Alabama deserves to be ranked number one. Texas definitely deserves to be ranked number two. But I still think I know we was group, we were talking in the group chat when Yvonne was talking about man, George is some trash. I'm sitting there saying hey, trash. Are you crazy? Like, don't let's not get beside ourselves. I would I still feel today, and even maybe more so, like I told you that George is my favorite to win the national championship. I, I really believe that. <laughs> I The crazy thing is, after Georgia losing, man, I still think they're the best team in the, in the country <laughs> right now. <laughs> I, I really do, man. Like the, like, the mistakes that Carson Beck made, and then he was able to regroup himself the way the defense stepped up, the running game stepped up. The two wide receivers step up. Both of them went over 100 yards. When was the last time we seen Georgia, two Georgia wide receivers going over 100 yards receiving? And not that's from, and that's not Brock saying, Bowers. <laughs> I like the fight that Georgia showed because that's what I'm saying. Most teams would have folded. Most teams would have folded in that scenario, and they didn't fold. At Tuscaloosa, down 28-0 at one point. Carson Beck was playing terrible. I don't know. 
know what Carson Beck was because he threw three interceptions, but it really could have been five or six because the Alabama defenders was dropping the ball. But I was just like in the first half and then to the second half, it looked like it looked like Daniel Jones the first half and then Peyton Manning the second half. I don't know what I saw in Tom Brady in the second half. He started going crazy. But like you said, Jalen Milrow right now has to be the front runner for the Heisman. That moment, I mean, they to say that Alabama gave up the lead. They gave up the lead. Not that they didn't. Georgia didn't tie the game, Keo. They had to score to win the game. And yeah, they only needed three. Milrow came out. And, you know, they could have tried to go conservative. But they took a shot right out the gate. He saw Ryan Williams one on one. He said, "I'm throwing that ball up there and let my young my young stud go make a play." And yeah, Milro right wow. now is the front runner for Heisman. But I'm I'm with you, Keo. I know everybody in Twitter world and social media is gonna say we're wilding, but I agree. I think Georgia's still the best team in the country, and I think that them actually playing Jalen Milro early in the season now and seeing him for the second time and losing to him. But now remember. It's two different coaches. You had Nick Saban. Now you have um, Kellen DeBoer. I think this, now they kind of know. I think it's going to be tough to beat Georgia moving forward, man. And and all that people have been saying about Alabama, like Saban's not there no more. <laughs> you, lost all, you lost all those players. You ain't going to be the same team. Georgia's going to take a step back. I mean, Alabama's going to take a step back. They didn't take a step back at all. They it's took a step early. up. It's still early. Call but, you got, but, but you got to give – I think Alabama is the second best team in the country. Um, yes, they're better than Texas. Yes, they're better than Ohio State. Yeah. I do. I think, I think, I think right now the three best teams I've seen play is Alabama, Georgia, and Texas. I, I know, you know, we said in the group chat, I said, he's, um, Yvonne, I think it was that said, uh, Georgia's not good, basically. I'm not going to, I'm paraphrasing what he said, <laughs> but he called him not good. And I'm saying, I would take I'm them sure. over any Big Ten team. Are you kidding me? I'm not and, sure. I'm not sure what's not, I'm pretty sure he didn't think they weren't good when they beat down Clemson. And Clemson looks like a team that can't be beat right now. Right. Like they look untouchable right now. Right. Right. So, right. Yeah. So, man, this incredible game, though, Keo. Incredible. But game. I do, but but I do agree with you. I think that that last play, um, I do put a little blame on Carson Beck on that throw because they kept on going after that that cornerback, Xavier and I think Brown, that yep. yeah, and I think that play he read that played the entire time he knew it was going to go to him because they kept on they once you once you keep on throwing once you keep on picking on somebody and just just going for that that that's like like in boxing you keep on going for that body shot that body shot obviously they're gonna figure it out and obviously he figured it out he read the play and it was an easy pick for him Right, 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 man. I will say this though, man. Um, Kobe Young, like I said, he played well. He had a little over sixty yards in that one instance. Um, I just wish he would have tried to like fight a little bit more so that the pick didn't happen so clean. Maybe he was off balance a little bit. But one thing I also want to say, and and I'm not going to the refs because the refs, I think the refs missed calls on both sides. So I know I saw people on Twitter saying, "Oh, they were favoring one side." No, they missed calls on both sides. I thought pass interference happened on a few plays on both sides. So we're not going to blame the refs. It was an exciting game. At the end of the day, or tonight, on tonight only, Alabama was the better team tonight. Uh, Do I think they're a the better and- team moving forward? Nah, I think it was like a hot uh, um, Robin knocking out um, Lennox Lewis, and then next time you see it, Lennox Lewis comes back and knocks oh, out Hasim Rock. Oh, 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 and let's make this clear. Don't get it twisted. Me and X, we did pick Georgia to win this game. <laughs> yeah, so. no, I did. I was wrong. I said tonight, George, Alabama was the better team for sure. That first half, they jumped on Georgia so big that Georgia, it took everything to come back. They did, but I think they wasn't expecting 
the go route right after they didn't take the lead. I think they were talking about thinking about okay, Alabama's gonna try to go down methodically and try to take all the time off the clock. And Miro was like, mm, hell no, nah, I'm taking my shot at my boy Ryan Williams right now. But shout out to both teams, man. Ryan this Williams. is why I love college football, man. This Ryan, is why I love man. Ryan Williams was a huge hat was a huge X X factor in this game. He had that when Jalen Miro threw that deep ball and uh he bobbled the ball yes. up in the air. Malachi starts like, tipped it. Yeah, he tipped it and he still caught it. Yeah, that you know what that reminds me of maybe not. It kind of reminds me when Purdy threw to IU against the yes. Lions. <laughs> yes, very similar. Very uh, similar. I will say this too. I know you said Beck, but I want to say this. I know Malachi starts got beat, beat on that um two point conversion after they scored a touchdown. But Malachi Starks, bro, that dude's the real deal. Yes, Ryan Williams caught the ball off the tip ball. But if not for that, those two, three trick plays that they ran for short of two in the first half, they would have scored a touchdown had he not made the play. Uh, so shout out to Malachi Starks. I think he played great. I think um, Johnson played great. I think they Defensively, they had some guys that showed up and um, they needed to show up. Yeah. In order to come back, and this and this game, man, I honestly feel like Alabama and Georgia have separated themselves from the SEC, including Texas. So Ole about, Miss. So you Ole think Miss, that? Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Ole Miss lost to Kentucky. I was telling people about Kentucky, man. Like Kentucky, they good. So <laughs> the the way that, um. Uh, Georgia, I guess you could say struggle against Kentucky. You can't, I don't think they're gonna take that much points away from it because Kentucky, they a good team. Like, I mean, what, what you gonna say now? Uh, Kentucky beat Ole Miss, right? Right, and my, I'm interested to see what the uh voters do because I'm thinking to myself, George has one loss now. How far are you gonna drop the Georgia Bulldogs? Not that far. Do you okay? So do you think that they'll drop out of the top five? I think they'll be right at five. Okay. So you say Texas, Alabama, Ohio State, Tennessee probably all ranked above them? Yeah, I I wouldn't be surprised if Miami jumps up also. Well, Miami got away, too, by the skin of their teeth. Hey, shout out to Cam Ward. Cam Ward had a moment, too, in that game where you thought he was going to get sacked and he got the ball off. So, shout out to him. But I think right now it's a three-man race between Cam Ward, Jalen Milro, and, of course, Travis Hunter, who struck the pose today after um, the interception, which was phenomenal. But Milro, man, he had that no, moment, I'm with though, you. I think man. I would vote Milro today, for sure. But it's like, early. like Cam Ward... He has the stats, but he just doesn't have that moment. Like he had, he hasn't there. He hasn't been. They have Miami hasn't been tested by a team. Well, he's gonna get his chance. Clemson's about to come up. Yeah, that that's that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. That, that's the one I'm looking for, man. That's the one I'm looking for. And uh, you know, Miami, they did they, they did pull it off though. So, um, but right now, man, I got I got Milro in my t on the top of the list, man. Yeah, me too. And I, I, I think I think I think it's Milro, Trav Follow. I got Milro, Travis Hunter, then Cam Ward. Um, I have no issue if you have it a different way, but I think those three have cool. kind of separated themselves from the rest of the pack. And 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 I know we'll probably talk about it later, um, during later this week, but did Colorado play some defense or what? Uh oh <laughs> hey. Hey man, I saw the graphics, but I could have sworn we picked that game on the show, and I didn't see us. No, on we did. We didn't pick that game because I'm pretty sure all of them would have picked Central Florida. That's what I'm saying. I thought. I thought maybe maybe I'm tripping. I thought we all picked Central Florida, but I, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I could have sworn, but I could have sworn. But it is what it is. It wasn't on the graphics, so I ain't gonna complain because I know I picked Central Florida. Because I had no, <laughs> but shout out to shout out to Colorado, man. They doing their thing. Um, they looked good today. They looked real good today, man. I watched them. Yeah, man. That this, this was this was this was a good week for college football, though, man. Like I didn't expect 
these games to turn out like this. I didn't expect Ole Miss to get upset. And I didn't expect Georgia and Alabama to have a classic the way they did. Um, I I didn't expect, you know, Miami and Virginia Tech to go to the down to the wire like that. Like down to the very last play. Yes, last play. And, and the referees had to go look at it. That's crazy. Yeah, man. So um things gonna get really interesting now. Um we that they, they are there are a couple games going on right now. Arizona is up 10-3 right now over number 10 ranked Utah. So they, they in the scale right now. Oregon game is going on. They're actually up 25 to 3 against UCLA in this. No, yeah, 25-3 against UCLA in the second quarter. Things going to be interesting, but at the end of the day, man, Alabama, Georgia went down, man, and this was probably one of the best Alabama-Georgia games i ever seen, man. Heavyweight was, fight, man. Heavyweight fight. This was... This was this was one for the ages, though. You had two. You know, you no matter no matter how you feel, but the general public feels like, you know, Carson Beck. You know, he's in the list, in the Heisman list. I'm not saying I'm not saying he's in your top five, but he's in the consensus list, though. Carson Beck. So you Jaylen. think this, so? You, so you give okay? So let me ask you this: Do you think this performance hurt? I, I know it hurt him, but I'm saying. Do you think he can rebound from this and win the Heisman? I think he can, though. I think he can. I don't think I don't think it hurts his Heisman chances. Him losing it, I think if anything, it actually helped his Heisman chances. Well, here, here, here's why I disagree. Because to me, I think Carson Beck, though they can still win the national championship, I think his Heisman chances are pretty much done unless Milro just has a meltdown. Because no matter what Carson Beck does from here on out, if Milro is what I think he can be, I think you agree with that, what you think he could be, I don't see how I'm a voter and I'm going to vote Carson Beck over Milro after that performance. There's, It's almost impossible to vote Carson Beck over um, Milro because Milro, for four quarters, played better than Carson Beck. Now, you can say Carson Beck had a stretch where he was better than Milro. But you can't say for four quarters he was better than Milro tonight. And I just no, think true. head to head, you're going to look at that and say to yourself, okay, Milro had almost 500 yards, four touchdowns, one turnover, whereas Carson Beck had three touchdowns and he had four turnovers. I just – I don't see how you can vote him over Milro. So I think he pretty much lost the Heisman tonight. I think they would – I think the voters might look at Carson Beck's second half and like, Yo, he you, showed gut. He showed guts and grit. You didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> I, 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 I can say this: I still don't think he's the great. Uh, he's his inconsistency scares me because to me, what I saw in the first half, I think I would see a lot of that in the NFL. You got to understand when you get to the NFL, you're playing against the best of the best, and you're talking about um defensive schemes that are at the highest level. And they had Carson Beck confused tonight in the first half. You can't even deny that, Keo. And to me, we've seen guys in college, like I, I know I keep saying these guys' names, but Ken Dorsey, the A.J. McCarrens, even the Matt Lotters to a certain extent. You can go back to Rex Grossman. Guys that had success in college. But when they get to the NFL, it's a different world. I just so, don't. I don't see so, Carson Beck being so a let's franchise say, quarterback. So let's let's say if Milro never made that touchdown pass and Georgia goes on the win, where w would you rank Carson Beck in the top of the list of the Heisman? Yeah. Oh, he would definitely be top three. It just okay. sucks because he would have beat Milro head to head, and his argument would have been, "I came back and beat Milro from twenty-eight nothing." I spotted him 28 and came back and won after four, four turnovers. So that's different. But Milro, as great as Carson Beck was in the second half, Milro said, that's cool. Now watch this. And yeah, it was like, he pretty, okay. Yeah, he, resp he responded right away, man. I, right, I, I right, was like, right. I was like, yo, that, that was nasty, though, man. That was. Right, right. But you know, we we, we ain't gonna be here too long, man. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna cover more college football 
for you guys later this week. Um, so we just wanted to do a quick recap. Uh, so um, yeah, man, let's let's get out of here and do some shout outs. No doubt, y'all already know, man. Y'all already know what type of time we on because the Nuts bus was in prime effect tonight. Big LSU, y'all already know what it is, <laughs> man. Hey, man, don't you laugh at all up, big dog. You don't beat be South Alabama, bro. Big LSU, <laughs> man. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Nonetheless, we won. And I'm super proud of the Tigers. Go Tigers. So shout out to them. Shout out to everybody that watched this game tonight between Alabama and Georgia. We was in for a goodie, and it actually lived up to the hype, even though initially it looked kind of scary. It was like, oh. But shout out to y'all, man. And if you haven't yet, go subscribe to the channel, man, on YouTube, MBS Central, and then go to TikTok. Listen, TikTok kind of lit for MBS Central right now, y'all. Go follow <laughs> us. We only, we, you know, we just started it. We have a few followers. Go follow the videos. The, the, the views are showing. We just need to get the followers up. So if y'all can, man, tell a friend to tell a friend, man. MBS Central. <laughs> Shout out to Keo, man. Get me on here after the game. And everybody at MBS, man. Sports yeah. Junkie. Yeah, man. Shout out to X. Follow the TikTok uh, page, man, at MBS.Central. Or you could just search up MBS Central. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, we got a new show coming up for you guys, man. And I think you guys are going to like it. So uh, just stay tuned for that. And it's going to be in a couple days. So you just be ready. Um, and then uh, tomorrow, does at Fantasy Football Stardom Sidham Show, man. So we'll be back here in the morning. But with that being said, man, this is MBS Uncensored. That's X. I'm Keo. We'll see you guys next time. We out.